Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Miss Crashy, and joined with me today is my boy Sanji. What's up, my man? How you doing? I'm doing good, dude. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for joining me with uh, this little VOD review that we're doing. So this is actually the final match of the grand finals of the summer showdown, and that was uh, Ultimate Esports and Spraggles putting this one on. So a really, really cool format. Essentially, if you don't know how it works, the showdown format is like a ban kind of centric thing, kind of. But basically, when you pick a Pokemon in a series, so if it's best of three, best of five, whatever it is, you can't use that Pokemon again. So you're only going to see teams being able to use the Pokemon once. What do you think about this format, Sanji? So playing in this tournament the other day, it was very, very interesting. Uh, we got to see a lot of like picks that we never really were able to see. Um, and kind of made me think that some things might actually be like really, really good and just slept on. Yeah. So it might be interesting for future competitive play. I think um, so. I played in it, too. I didn't get super far in the losers bracket, but um, I, I played with like a pickup group. And I felt the same thing. The, the cool thing was creating comps that had like a purpose outside of just being the strongest thing in the role, right? Like, mm -hmm. like um, one of the games we played, we just pulled out full rip comp. Like right out of the gate, we were like, yeah, we're going to just run full rip comp. We're going to execute it. Like it's not even like necessarily the thing that's sitting at the highlight, like the high point of the meta, but we just pulled it off. So let's go ahead mm -hmm. and roll this. We're going to watch again. This is the final game of the grand finals. So a lot of Pokemon are already out of rotation. We don't even know what they are. I mean, I could maybe recall some of the games, but we really just wanted to take a look at the deepest game in this series to kind of see what is left and what kind of comps they pick. At this point, you can assume maybe some of the supports are out. Maybe some of the like the high tier, like S tier picks are gone. And uh, yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> I just see Slash on Crustle yeah. and he's running <laughs> EXP share. And I just... <laughs> it's weird, right? It's so bizarre. It's so strange. Is it tuned on Garchomp even? Yeah, it, it's really, it's really so strange. It's so, so weird. And that's the thing, though. Like you do when you get this deep into like a tournament series where the Pokemon disappear, you can't use them anymore. You got to start mm -hmm. picking out the B and C tier Pokemon. So, all right, let's take a little snapshot. Let's pause real quick and we'll we'll look at this. So <laughs> we have Black Hands comp that is Crustle. Uh, like as the tank but he's got exp share, share they don't have a support neither team has a traditional support in that mm -hmm. sense and honestly when you look at these it looks like such a solo queue game like it, it looks like you don't oh, yeah. really know where everybody's going unless you know who they are um mm -hmm. but i will say it's kind of surprising to see cinder and maybe even greet it make it this far and in as far as black hands comp even the zero aura See, the Zara is interesting to me because uh, Overlord's played that in scrims against us, mm -hmm. and uh, he well he likes to pick random things when he gets bored, uh, and so he picks he picks Zara Aura. So I'm interesting. I'm I'm curious to see um, how this is gonna play into the Azumarill top lane, or maybe it's Potato actually, because the, they're both top laners. I'm not sure. Did y'all run it? In, and this is just me speaking from experience, but did y'all run into like a ton of two one twos during this? Yeah, every, yeah a, a lot like, of people even when we played ix ix was playing two and two as well yeah yeah so so two and two kind of on the rise are at very least for for this kind of a tournament because the, the picks are so limited but also just mm -hmm. in general on the rise and so we have two and two setup jungle guard chomp on tune and then uh the decidua is going to be the jungle on the opposite side it's interesting that sixties would uh get jungle we're actually running cinder bot for a red team that's yeah. very interesting yeah, I I figured they would put the Decidueye over the Cinder. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I didn't even... I feel like Decidueye lane would be a little bit better into Crustle Venu because Cinder doesn't really do much of anything <laughs> in the bot lane. Yeah, I, I was going to say, for the sake of saying, not that this matters too much, but top lane gamers are all EU, and I think it was like 5 a.m. during this series. Oh, jeez. So, like, it's super late. So, they're, uh, you know, they're hanging in there trying to trying to catch a bag in the grand finals but it does look like they're already like a little bit behind gatley tried to do like an invade on greedon and that wait he picked a rock too <laughs> why is he a rock too wait he's rock too main tank crustle yeah i guess i mean he picked rock too i saw it with exp share so he's he's, uh, he's doing things i think that's the tune special dude the tune crustle special in the bottom lane my gosh man Okay, well, I don't know what happened in top lane. Overlord oh came back and shredded, jeez, but they, they're they they're getting some stacks in at very least, it looks like, maybe, if they're running attack weights. Yeah, I think Decidueye is getting stacks, but uh, not gonna lie, top lane gamers, they're kind of just feeding at this point. 
a little bit a little bit of feeding but they're kind of just like trading the exp back mm. and azumarill what do you think of azumarill right now because i guess this gives us like a little bit of an opportunity to talk about like meta and strength viability of characters too so uh lacoding absolutely hates when i play azumarill jungle i think it's busted mm. I, I think it's so insane this patch uh it just does so much damage and i feel like you know unless you pick like i don't know mage nine or things like that it's really really hard to kite it and stop it from doing things interesting so i, I could very, very i could good. see it i could see it doing well in jungle just because of the fact that like you want to get a character like that ahead um mm-hmm. I haven't, I haven't it's also really very very good in jungle. top lane it's very good in top lane as well yeah this game looks it's so weird because i I feel like it's hard to um, break down this game a little bit in a weird way because they're the, the picks are so like random feeling that I can't see like a clear goal from these comps other than just like traditionally trying to being stronger than the other me team, right? Like they're so far removed from like building any type of particular comps that like I don't know how well thought out, you know, like a game for showdown format comp would be. So what's what's interesting about uh like, I, I'll be honest, it, both comps at this point are kind of like, it looks like they're trying to do the same thing, right? You have your dive plus peel for your backline characters, right? Like, Pikachu Vinu have peel from, uh, the, I guess, the Rock Tomb Crustle yeah, and the X-Scissor, right? Uh, and then, you know, Toon on the Garchomp can dive, Zara can dive. And then there's also, like, the other side, you have Azumarill and Sword who can dive, um, and the Green Ant can use its abilities to peel or dive as well. Uh, and then you have two like big damage threats on either side, so it's not not uh, in theory it's not terrible uh, team comps. Yeah, no, I mean it's like it's it's a little bit balanced, right? Like they're not going to pick um, something that I think is like terrible or anything. Uh, mm-hmm. Top lane gamers they got the like the steal on the dread, but they got taken out, so the XP is not really in their favor at all. And we can see the score leads still in the hands of Black Hand, but uh. I'm excited to see like what these team fights look like when they get a little bit more flushed out. They get their unite moves. Also, just for the sake of saying, super cool that we can actually see the unite moves on the spectator client. This is like the first tournament I think I've watched or any anything that, with the uh, like updated spectator client. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just noticed that 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 was my biggest issue with uh, the whole world's event when I'm spectating yeah, it, was, it. You just can't. Uh, do you have you no clue? Yeah, you just have no clue what's going on. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This game feels like really scrappy. Like I feel like people are fighting a lot. Oh yeah, Galu's just going in here, dude. He's just going for it. Greed and oh see this. God. This is the great thing about top lane gamers comp, in my opinion. Like they have three characters that can just do that, and then they have Decidueye, who, well, not in this scenario, yeah. but yeah, we'll yeah. Ho- <laughs> we'll hopefully be able to sit in the back lines and just like snipe and poke at him. Yeah, he should. They should be able to like stay safe, and then they have Cinder who can, you know, go mid range. And do you just feel like do you, do you feel like it's a good idea, like running Decidueye and Cinder? Like I, I don't know that I would. Again, I, I this format is like not something that's been practiced a lot, right? Because it's kind of hard to practice this format. Um, but even if you if you knew you had to pick like some ranged characters, I don't know what all they've used as of the, this point in the series, but. Cinder Grant or Cinder Decidueye feels like a, a tough one to try to like keep alive and peel for. Like someone's gonna die well, really fast. I don't think it's terrible, but I think you need to have uh if, if you're gonna try and do something like that, the Decidueye has to go bot lane and the Cinder goes jungle, and then you have to have like a Wiggly, LD, or a Hoopa. One of those three. Or a Blissey. So you have to have one of those four characters in order to make that work, I think. Which assuming they've already probably used them. I wonder like what yeah. mage picks were available for top lane gamers on a game four. Because, like, it would have been interesting just to see them pick, like, uh, again, most of anything I spit out here has probably already been played. But, like, like anything like a cram or an A9, like, something that brings, like, a little bit of CC to the table or, like, could kind of act yeah. like a form of peel in itself as opposed to running, like, 280 carries. Yeah, I, w- I would have loved to see a, a cram over the center, to be honest, on top lane gamers, if if cram's still in rotation, of course. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, we could probably both expect that it's not. Granted, this is in yeah. tournament mode, so I, I don't think they have, like, emblems available, so... It's not like that full like CDR cram build is like dominating in this particular event, but still mm-hmm. cram's just like in a pretty decent spot right now. Yeah, the surf the surf came cram. I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised during the whole tournament we didn't see more uh, cram lax. The the original season that's, one. That's funny you say that. Uh, the group that I played with, we we played a lot of cram lax for this event. 
it's is very it's, i feel like it's still very very it's good. it's the early game is so so incredibly strong we played against a couple teams that were um like executing like one one three and we just put cram uh, snorlax bot and oh that's Ooh. a nice night that was good sixties i see i love that i love rotom whenever i play garchomp because it is so good to like easily pull it away and kind of secure it for yourself but not if it just gets sniped so <laughs> So this is why I like tree. Speaking of tree, I saw no one playing tree this tournament at all. But tree kind of feels very, like very it insane. Kind of feels like it'd be like a nice game three pullout for mm -hmm. like main defender. Um, there's so many top lane options. It feels like at least for a tournament like this. Like if you if you blow through, mm -hmm. you know, like Serena Machamp Lucario or something at minimum, you you can go into like a Trevenant or something like that, or like a slow bro top lane if you want to run that and like a Blissey and go like come out of the, the gate with like a heavy comp um but yeah i don't know mm. i figured i definitely figured um trevenant would get a little bit of play in like the defender role yeah i feel like this honestly if the the three the core three top laners that you mentioned already serena machamp lucario if they weren't so like insane you could see so many different picks up in top lane i feel like but those are just you know head and shoulders above the rest so it's nice to see like in a tournament like this you know we see garchomp and zera and azumarill and sword and you know I feel it's, like it's really really cool it's funny because this is much less of vod review and more of just like a kind of like watching the game commentary uh, th this whole event and you said it really early on has kind of shown me like what i feel is a pretty healthy meta i mean maybe mm -hmm. there's some outlier things dude black hand just gets it i wish we had like a little bit of a better wow. camera view to like be the, the pit more there but um they, yeah, we saw 60s pressing the old button <laughs> <Yeah>. and dying <laughs> <laughs> just getting dope by elo so dang dude that was a pretty decisive game I mean, yeah. looking at their comps, the the Zara alone makes me feel like that the, the top lane gamers comp like really couldn't stick it out in there. Like I don't know, mm -hmm. a comp looked like it was going to be a little outclassed. Um, and Zara's actually Crystal. really strong too. Yeah. Zara's like really really strong with the United Nine now. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's been a uh, pretty solid. But um, okay, so let, just, just to touch on the, like the, that last point, um, mm -hmm. as far as like the meta goes, what would you say are some of the outliers? Like either the like really really bad picks or like really really good picks? Because I feel like overall the the balance of the game is actually in a pretty decent state. Uh, I think nothing's changed aside from okay, so dive cram's really insane with the emblems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Absol still busted. I'm still playing it. It's still very it's very still good. Still super strong. Yeah. Even without runes, it's still very very good. Um the zara zara is really really insane very very uh slept on for sure i think adcs in general like cinder and gren definitely still weaker but i don't think a whole lot has changed like you still pick you still pick Knight, you still pick like scald bro you still pick uh absol right and now you can just pick things like zara like uh what was the other pokemon you were talking about um, the oh the cram the dive cram, <laughs> yeah dive cram's insane. well yeah. see that's the thing i feel like a lot of these picks like dive cram like wasn't particularly being played much like i mean i know tune would, would jungle cram every now and then but um mm -hmm. now even more so a reason the jungle role feels huge like there, there's something oh, you yeah. can play there the top lane role feels pretty damn good and then bottom lane just kind of turns into like well what do we want our comp to be and what do we want our comp to accomplish so uh, pretty good, pretty cool, healthy spot. Yo, Sanji, thank you yeah. so much for joining me for this, man. We're just like a little bit of fun, like hangout commentary mm -hmm. watching that final game. Uh, what do you want to tell everybody who's watching? What, do, what are you up to? What are you doing? Where can they find you? Uh, you know, just streaming, playing with uh, my team, Team TUS, uh, pretty much daily at this point, always entering tournaments and stuff. You guys can find me on YouTube at Sanji4, Twitter at Sanji4Official, and Twitch at Sanji4. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, super fun showdown tournament. Really, really cool. Again, I want to see uh, pick ban phase tournaments. I want to see the game just like continue to go in this format of less mirror matches and more unique stuff. Even stuff like this showdown to me is is much more fun than just like the re repetition of comps. But um, oh, friends, yeah. thank you all so much for watching. Sanji, thank you so much for joining me. Much appreciated. As Thanks always, friends, me. drop a like on the video, comment, let us know what you think about this kind of format or this tournament specifically. Super fun to watch. So big shout outs to Ultimate Esports and Spraggles for putting it on, Jeff Hoogland and the other casters, Unite Mics as well, uh, for doing it on their side. Friends, as always, be sure to be kind of one another. Tell someone you love them. We'll see you on the next video.